Rudy Schlattner, who was a young boy who fled with his family from Czechoslovakia after World War II, has discovered the possession secretly left behind by his father in the roof of their old family home, 70 years later. Rudy was accompanied on the visit to the building by employees of a museum in the nearby town, together with the mayor, manager of the kindergarten and archaeologists. Rudy wanted to find something he believed his father left behind. Rudy went to the attic. Even after all the renovations, no one had noticed a string attached to the loose board in the attic. Rudy tapped the panel boards with a small hammer to locate the hidden possessions. All of them had the same sound. Then he tried to find a string which was supposed to detach the boards, which was a system set up by his father. Rudy found a piece of string. He pulled it for a while and then two planks loosened and there was a hideout full of things behind them. Rudy's father hid a total of 70 packages in the attic and hid them all extremely well. The packages were very skillfully hidden in the vault of a skylight. It was incredible how many things fit in such a small space. It took more than an hour until they pulled out everything. Some of the packages, which had been left untouched for 70 years, were all in brown paper. Other objects were unwrapped, including hats, clothes hangers, newspapers, paintings and even skis. The packages were also shown to have held umbrellas, paperweights, pens, school tables, unopened cigarettes, badges, books, socks and sewing kits. Everything has been assessed to be in a good working condition. The treasures will be kept in a museum in the Czech town of Usti nad Labem. The state can legally keep any and all German property that was left behind during the years after the war. As of now, all packages have been taken to a museum and have been analysed and filed. According to the manager of the museum that had analysed the treasures, such a finding of hidden German property in the region is very rare. Given the circumstances in which these objects were found, they have been bestowed a high historical value. While many of these things don't appear valuable, they offer a rare glimpse into the life in the 1940s. Anyway, that's the end of this video. Thanks for watching, please subscribe and like, and we'll see you next time. Bye bye.